This is how you can measure the speed of sound using an empty bottle and a mobile phone or a tablet. Now, you know that if you blow across the top of an empty bottle, you can make a sound. And you know that if you add water to the bottle, you can change the tone of that sound. You can change the frequency of the sound wave that's produced. Now, the frequency of the sound wave depends on the volume of the air that you've got in the bottle. So if we want to measure the speed of sound, we need to be able to measure the frequency of the sound that's produced and the volume of air in the bottle. So let's start with the volume of air in the bottle. Now, I've filled this bottle with water and what I've got here is a little measuring jug. Now, ideally you would be able to do this in school with a proper measuring cylinder, but if you're stuck at home because of school closures, then you'll just have to make do with whatever you can find. This has marks on it which go in up in 50 millilitres, 50 centimetres cubed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 50 millilitres of water from here to here, and that should leave me with 50 millilitres or 50 centimetres cubed of air in the bottle. So here goes. Okay. So now I've got 50 millilitres of water in here, which means I've got 50 millilitres of air in here. Now, that only takes the water level down to here, and I find that I don't get a good sound at this level. I need the water, I need a bit more air in the bottle, so I need to get the water down to about here. So I'm going to put another 150 millilitres in here, so that I've got 200 millilitres of water in the jar. got 200 millilitres of water in here, which means I've got 200 millilitres or 200 centimetres cubed of air in here. And now I should be able to make a sound. Now I don't always get this right first time. There's a knack and I haven't got it. So let's see. There. That's better. Okay, so we're definitely getting the sound there, and now we need to be able to measure the frequency of that. That's why I've got the mobile phone. So I'm just going to show you this screen here. I've got an app on the mobile phone which will allow me to measure the frequency of sound. Now, the app I use for this is called Physics Toolbox. There are other apps that will do the same thing. Firefox is one. There are other audio frequency measurers that you can find on the app stores for either Android or iPhones. Now, I've got the pro version here, but in fact, you don't need that. The free version does the job just as well. And if you want the pro version, it only costs a few euros. When you open it up, this is what you'll see. It's measuring G-force here, which isn't what we want. So I'm going to press on the menu at the top left and scroll down until I see this tone detector here. Yeah. Now you can see it starts to flicker. It says no tone detected, but it's detecting something every now and again because it's trying to measure the frequency of my voice. What I want it to do is to measure the frequency of the sound I make from the bottle. To make it a little bit easier, I've got one of those little microphone headset things that you can put in a mobile phone and I'm going to add that in. And then I'm going to hold the microphone part close to the bottle while I blow into the bottle. So let's see what we get here. So I saw something there like about 219, 220 and then 221. Now you'll notice there's lots of decimal places. You don't need those. When you're measuring a frequency that's in hundreds of hertz, the decimal places are going to be insignificant to your answer. So look for the whole number, the nearest whole number you can spot. I'm going to try that again. That's a good clear 221 there. 221, 220 point quite a lot, so 221. Now, I'm going to try pouring some more water into the jug now so that we've got more air in the jar, in the bottle rather, and see what effect that has on the sound. So. I've got 300 millilitres of water in here now. So I've got 300 millilitres of air, 300 centimetres cubed of air in the bottle. 
And I'm going to try that again now. Okay, 174, 175. Yeah. Okay, now what you need to do is to repeat that for a range of values starting from about here with about 150 or 200 millilitres of air in the bottle and working your way down until you've got only air in the bottle, until you put all the water into the jug. Okay. And you may need to measure the frequency every time. Now, that will give you a lovely graph of frequency against volume. And from that graph, you can calculate the speed of sound. But first, you need to go and collect that data. And then just before you take the bottle to the recycling, you need to measure the length of its neck here. Try to measure it if you can to the nearest millimetre, but at least to the nearest half centimetre. You also need to measure the inside diameter of this part here. And you do need to measure that as accurately as you can. You should be able to do it to the nearest millimetre. And then from that, we'll be able to calculate the speed of sound.